Hi folks, I'm Steve Hindy for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness. From December 2014 to February 2015, Shark secretly documented a deer kill in the Forest Preserve District of Will County, Illinois. Our operation exposed animal cruelty, concern for the safety of people living around the preserves, and questioned why there is a deer kill at all, because shark cameras recorded very few deer at bait sites and shark investigators saw very few deer tracks in the snow. Surprised and embarrassed by our investigation, Forest Preserve District President Suzanne Hart insisted in a March 13, 2015 media report that not only was there an overabundance of deer, but that they are, quote, starving to death, unquote. The claim of overabundance was interesting, but the claim of deer starving to death is completely false, and in this video, we'll use the district's own documentation for proof. According to a University of Illinois Extension report titled Living with Deer, we learned that the normal weight of female adult white-tailed deer in Illinois ranges from 100 to 150 pounds, while male adults weigh from 150 to 250 pounds. Now, let's look at the district's 2013-2014 report on deer killed. In Hickory Creek, which was one of the preserves with a shark camera, the average weight for a female deer a year earlier was 139 pounds, and the weight of a male was 226 pounds, well within the normal range. At McKinley Woods, another preserve which held shark cameras, the average weight for an adult female was 123 pounds, and an average male was 145 pounds, which is somewhat light, but not starving. At Goodenow, another preserve with a shark camera, the average weight for an adult female was 132 pounds, and an average male was 161 pounds, within the average range. Other preserves in the deer kill program also showed normal deer weights with just a few exceptions which could be attributed to sick or wounded individuals. Those of you who lived in Illinois during the 2013-2014 winter may remember that it was absolutely brutal. So if there were going to be starving deer, this is the report that would have showed it. We reviewed three years of the district's summary reports on its deer kill program, and there was not one word about any food shortage whatsoever, much less a claim that the deer are starving to death. Shark held a press conference on March 17, 2015, to show some of our undercover documentation, and we invited Forest Preserve District President Suzanne Hart to come and explain her claim that the deer were starving to death. Ms. Hart chose not to attend. Forest Preserve District Commissioner Liz Collins did show up at the press conference, and she expressed support for a review of the program. We appreciate Commissioner Collins' open-mindedness and her value for life. If you care about Will County's deer or about taxpayers being told the truth by their elected officials, please call or write to Will County Forest Preserve Commissioners and politely ask them to set up an independent review of the district's deer kill program. We're well into the 21st century. Surely we can do better than to simply slaughter our deer when there are non-lethal methods available if population control is required. I'm Steve Hindy for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness.